everybody, welcome back to our story by David Walliams, There's a Snake in My School. I think we'd left off where the headmistress had put all the animals into the lost property cupboard, but she'd left Penelope out. And we were trying to find out and have a think what she was going to do. Does anybody know? Shall we see? I've got Molly here still fast asleep. This disgusting thing is coming with me, bellowed the headmistress. With that, she dragged the poor python along the corridor to her office. Where are you going to put Penelope? asked Miranda. In the bin. No! Miss Bloke crammed the snake into a bin and slammed the lid shut. Then she plonked herself down on top so the python couldn't escape. The bin rattled and rattled, but Penelope was trapped. A snake in my school indeed. Get back to your lessons. Can you see? My Penelope is in the bin. Poor snake. Downstairs in the classroom, tears rolled down Miranda's cheeks. All the children were sad to have their pets taken away, but no one was sadder than Miranda. The little girl feared she would never see Penelope again. At the end of the day, Miranda dashed upstairs to Miss Bloat's office to try and make her change her mind. Knock, knock. There was no answer. So slowly, Miranda pushed open the door, only to see... What do you think she's going to see? She's at the door. I think this is going to be exciting. Penelope is sitting in the headmistress chair. Miranda ran towards her pet and gave her a humongous hug. There she is. See all prim and proper in the headmistress's chair. Miss Bloke was nowhere to be seen. So the girl grabbed the key off the desk, ran to the lost property cupboard and as fast as she could, unlocked it. The animals were overjoyed to be set free. There they are, happy as anything. I wonder where the headmistress is. Then Miranda and all the pets slid down Penelope's back into the playground. Whoosh! Hooray! The children shouted. Look how excited they are. Penelope entertained everybody again. She made a seesaw for them to seesaw on, a swing for them to swing on. Oh, she even made a wheel for them to roll in. And a skipping rope for them to skip with. Penelope even helped some of the younger children with the alphabet. Although it was hard to do an X. All the fun things she was doing for the children. As for Miss Bloat, she had completely disappeared. So Mr Bright was made headmaster. Now the children were allowed to bring in all their favourite animals whenever they wanted. The school became home to every sort of fantastic creature. See what we can see here. So we can see a gorilla, an elephant, an ostrich, a giraffe. Would you imagine bringing a giraffe to school? A kangaroo, a crocodile and even a grizzly bear. Oh, but look here. We have a whole colony of penguins. Good gracious me. Wouldn't that be fun having all those animals at King's Fold? But the star attraction, of course, was always Penelope. Though Miranda had noticed there was something different about her python. Can you see anything different about her python? Hmm. There was a bulge. A big bulge in the snake's tummy. A bulge in the shape of <gasps> Miss Bloat. But the little girl thought it best not to say anything. Can you see Miss Bloat in the python's tummy? I think personally she deserved it. Well, I hope you enjoyed story time today. And I can't wait to see you all again. See you later. Bye.